Hello students, this week in digital photography we're talking about composition. First of all, what is composition? Well, I've gone ahead and opened up a Wikipedia article here on composition. And we can see the definition given to composition here is the placement or arrangement of visual elements or ingredients in a work of art or a photograph. Um, and it says that these organization of the elements are done, or the organization of the elements is done according to the principles of art. In other words, there are long standing principles, even rules, we might say, uh, of visual art that have guided composition that tell us uh, when something has a good composition as opposed to not so good of a composition. And so there really are rules um, that we want to try and follow when we put together our photographs in order to have a strong composition. We're going to talk about one of those most important rules today and that is the rule of thirds. So why is composition important? We just said it's the way we arrange things in a picture according to certain principles or rules of art. But really, when you get down to it, why is it important? Well, I've got two pictures here of a dog. And they're of the same dog, but uh, the pictures are very different. Here's the first one. We've got a dog, orange ball, some distracting things there in the background. And then we have the second picture of the dog. Uh, most people would, if they were asked, which of these two pictures do you think is a better picture? Most people looking at these, and I've done this with students a lot of times, most students choose this picture, the picture of the, the second picture of the dog. And when I ask them why do they think that's a better picture than this picture here, most of them will say, well, because the dog's looking at you, or because the dog has uh, stands out from the background better, whereas here it's kind of hard to see the dog, or here it's kind of complicated and confusing, all the things in the background, whereas here you really just focus on the dog. All of those answers as to why this is probably a better picture have to do with composition. It's the placement of the dog and the other elements in the picture in such a way that it focuses attention here in this picture, it focuses attention on the dog in a much better way. And that is composition and that's why it's important. All right, the very first rule that we're going to talk about in terms of composition is called the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a rule. Um, it can be broken, doesn't always have to be followed, but most of the time you should try to follow the rule of thirds unless you have a really good reason why you're not. It's a rule of visual composition. Again, it has to do with how we lay things out in a photograph. To use the rule of thirds, we equally divide the image into three parts, both vertically and horizontally. So we have two lines going across the picture horizontally and two lines going across the picture vertically. We have the example here, a little picture of a goat. We can see the lines that divides the picture up into thirds in both directions. And in addition to dividing up the image that way, what we do with those lines then is we place the main uh, subject matter of the photograph along those lines. So we can see here the goat has been placed along this left one-third line. And not only has he been placed along that line, but this uh, point here, the red point, has been placed right smack dab in the middle of the goat. And this is considered strong composition or powerful pom composition because of using the rule of thirds. These lines, uh, or excuse me, these points that uh, occur where the lines intersect, and there are four of them, are called by some people power points. It is often considered a good idea to place your main subject matter along those lines and right at one of the power points. Okay, here's an example of a photograph. It's not a bad photograph. It's, it's okay. We've got a couple bikes against a tree. However, if we were to take this picture, if we look at this picture as it is, we would say, well, the rule of thirds probably wasn't applied that well here because the, the bikes, which is the main subject of the picture, are placed right in the middle of the photograph for the most part. Whereas here, if we back up a little bit, we place the bikes off to the, the right, and we divide the picture up into thirds a bit better, the picture has a little bit more of an of interest or a little bit stronger composition. Uh, in this next photograph, again, we have a windsurfer. 
and the the main subject matter the windsurfer has been placed right smack dab in the middle of the photograph it's okay it's an okay picture but it could probably be made better through the use of the rule of thirds so right here we have the same subject matter but we've placed that main subject off to the left along one of the lines um, imaginary lines in this case uh, on the left side the rule of thirds has been applied it's important to remember that uh, the picture is divided not only vertically uh, in thirds but also horizontally and so we can see here that the main line between the lower part of the picture the water and the upper part of the picture is right here this um, line of shore the shoreline between the water and the grass and that's probably the strongest horizontal line in the picture and that has also been placed along one of the one-third lines the lower third line in the picture and so it's also important to not only line things up across the um, vertical lines but also the horizontal lines as well and normally it's the horizon in the picture that's placed along that uh, one of those horizontal lines okay so your assignment this week is going to be uh, to to look through your photographs uh, actually you can go ahead and look through photographs you've already taken um, from days gone by and you're going to use an online photo editor called Pixel or Express which I'll show you in a moment and you're going to edit though uh, edit three different photographs I want you to find at least three photographs and I want you to edit them and the way you're going to edit them is to try and improve the composition of the photographs by applying the rule of thirds to the photograph and when you're done, you're going to turn in actually six photographs. You're going to turn in three individual photographs, but you're going to turn in two versions of each picture. You're going to turn in the original and the edited version of the picture so that I can see how you've improved the composition by applying the rule of thirds. You're applying the rule of thirds through cropping. Okay, so let's say take a look at how we crop using Pixlr Express. Here's the website you're going to go to. I'll be putting a link, this link, in Moodle so you can go directly to this website. It's called Pixlr.com Express. When you get in here, it's quite easy to use. You browse and you go ahead and find one of your photographs that you want to use. Here we go. I've got a picture of me and um, my nieces and we're out on a hike and it's an okay photograph. However, we are the main uh, subject matter in the picture and we're kind of uh, right smack dab in the middle of the picture. So this is how we're going to improve composition through cropping. You'll go to the adjustment area and you'll find the crop tool. Looks like this. Click on that and when you do all of a sudden voila you see the rule of thirds lines are now placed over the picture. So if I want to improve this picture I probably want to put this rule excuse me this uh, one-third line on the left somewhere probably right about here this allows me to put again the main subject matter right along one of those one-third lines. As soon as I'm done doing that I like the composition I hit apply and now I can take a look at my newly cropped picture. Okay and then when I've got it all the way I want it to be I'll hit save and I probably should rename my picture so I don't overwrite the original I'll just call uh, this the same name but with the number two after it and save it and now I have two versions of that picture Okay, and I can go ahead and save it. All right, once I'm done, I can close it and go on to my next picture. Here we have another picture of me out hiking. I like to hike a lot. Again, I'm right in the middle of the picture. I could probably improve this a little bit through cropping. So we'll go to Adjustment, choose the Crop tool, and I can decide uh, where exactly I want to put those crop lines, possibly uh, something like this. You not only can, um, with Pixlr Express, you, you you don't have to only grab the corners you can also once you've adjusted the size of that picture a little bit um, you can also go ahead and just drag the entire crop box somewhere around the picture until you get it looking the way you want now remember we want to not only um, place things um, on the vertical lines that go this way but also the horizontal lines so I might want to place that horizon line uh, on that upper line or the lower line. Something like this looks good. We'll go ahead and apply. And now we see we probably have a stronger composition in this picture because of using the rule of thirds. Once again, once you're done, save it. Give it a slightly different name by putting the number two at the end. Hit save. And you have to hit save again. And now you're done. Okay. 
when you're done you can close it down then um, when you're all done you're going to upload again uh, six photographs you're going to up it's uh, three different photographs and you're putting you're giving me two versions of each picture the original and the edited version the edited version has been improved uh, by applying the rule of thirds to the picture I hope that's clear I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures and how you're going to apply the rule of thirds